can he can do the old hook and ladder without fumbling her, but every other play he falls over or he falls and hits his face because he's too fat and dumb. <laughs> his name is Tyler Lancaster, folks, and he saved the Chiefs game. He stripped LaShawn McCoy, recovered his own fumble. Jay is a, he does not like Lancaster and on and on the 14 points the prior to that that put him in the position Billy Bob was pushed Billy. by a guy that was uh, uh he outweighed by at least 50 plus pounds on a one-on-one block that he had no athletic talent to shed no ability to get off of and couldn't even out he couldn't even fall over and just take and just lay on the guy because he's fatter than him and so of course Billy Bob had to be there to make a fumble recovery because he had already gotten his big fat butt pushed in and gave up and was the the weak point. Just like in the movie when he went out there before he got his cat scanned and just passed out and had his quarterback dragging his leg, Billy Bob ruined the Packers' perfect season. (laughs) Sounds like my Trey Wayans. That's how I feel about Trey Wayans. Well, Wayans had a great interception to to seal the game. Yeah, he had a great interception to seal the game. There was not a receiver in the area, and and it was a it was just thrown. What about the three touchdowns he gave up prior to the interception? (laughs) What about the pass? Thank you, JB. Guys get by him. I uh, JB seriously. Seriously, I have now, and I want you to jump on board with this, right? Because because on the on the Hallis Hall, and I wish I wish God, I so wish Austin was here for this right now, because I've heard him talk about it, and and it's happening. It's it's now dubbed. I've dubbed it. All players that do this right, and they get to stay on teams because they get to hang on. The coaches like, oh, he caused a fumble that changed the game, and they just ignore <laughs> all the dumb stuff. It's called JB and Julius. The ha ha Clinton Dex effect. All right. It's like the butterfly effect, but it's in football terms. It's the ha ha Clinton Dix effect. All right. Like you can have five interceptions in three games, but three of them were tipped and there would be on football follies. And the other two were thrown like 15 yards to the right or left of a receiver. And you just happen to turn around and it hits you in the chest. But you know, like that—that's what this is, you man. Know what? It's all Perfect across the league. It happens. That. Julius, you there, buddy? I'm here. Okay. Well, he fell asleep Hello? on us. No. Um. Oh. <laughs> all right. So, remember last year when Ha Clinton Dix was still with the Packers, he had to end up getting an interception on Stafford that game in the first matchup where Crosby missed five kicks, but. Not even a drive later, Kenny Galladay stiff-armed Kyle Clinton Dick so far into his soul, it like you saw him appear the other side of China real quick. I, no, it was bad, JB. And J- I, I have knows the, exactly I have which play I'm talking about. Phone. Yeah, God, you know what I described it as? It's exactly the analogy Jay just brought up. It reminded me. It reminded me of Show Khan just stealing their soul. Your soul is mine. Hmm. He just ripped it out of his body and left the white <laughs> corpse just <laughs> flopping on the ground. Kenny where was like, what the hell? Because see, the and next I, week he got traded. See, I call it the weekend golfer effect. The guy who goes <laughs> no, out. No, JB, you got to jump on board with this, man, because no, he's still in the not. division. You, he's it's still in the division. It's the golfer effect. It's the ha ha Clinton Dix effect. It's the guy who shoots 130 on a Saturday but he hits that one shot where he lands five feet from the cup. So he keeps bringing the clubs out, even though the other 129 shots he hit that day were so awful that he should never pick up a golf club again. That's what this is. That's what Trey Wayans is. Football. Is. We can't the one use play. non-sports in a sports talk. Okay. Like golf stop. Is sports, sir. How dare you? There is wow. no sport in the world. You can play when you're 70 years old. Sorry, not a sport. I mean, technically there is NASCAR is another one. That's, that's not that a sport, is though. not a sport. That's a race did, car. Know, NASCAR is not a sport. It <laughs> is a, a race it is a car. Contest. It will never be a sport. You tell it's, Dale Earnhardt Jr. that. I, I, 
I totally respect the guys who can drive in a circle for 500 miles and not get bored doing it, but it's it's not a sport. I want right. to know. I want to actually know on a side note. If I want to start researching these guys when they're in their 60s or 70s to see if their equilibrium is shifted slightly to the left permanently. <laughs> if like if if they had right, to all walk in, if they all had to walk in a road, desert get me the hell out of the <laughs> Okay. How long would it be before they made a circle to the left? I just want to All know. Right. Guys, do you have any questions for that we didn't list that you wanted to talk about tonight? As far as NFC North? Yeah, anything. No, I don't think so. I mean, everything's been pretty much covered and we mid-season. Um, at this point, you know, Team, the NFC North is tight. It's pretty much going to come down to. I mean, I keep thinking about injuries. Like injuries are, it's going to happen to every team, and uh, you just got to hope your team isn't the one to catch it. Yeah, JB, Dave, you didn't you you, you didn't get to the records for the Packers. <laughs> I was gonna. I was just asking JB. Try to be polite. Did, 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 so you didn't say. You just said JB. Do you have anything else? You you said NFC North. You didn't specifically <laughs> point because I just asked Julius. I figured he knew after JB. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? No, this has been a lot of fun yet again. Uh, I, I look forward to this. I, I don't mind giving up sleep to do this. It's it's a good time with you guys. I really appreciate it. What are your guys' predictions for the Packers? What do you see? I can see the pack. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say uh, the Packers finish 11 and five. They win the NFC North. Uh, I think a big part of that is y'all hot start. Y'all started seven and one in the season. That gives y'all a lot of slack to lose a few games and not give a damn. And as long as y'all, as long as the Packers are constructed as they're presently constructed, uh, I, I'm picking the Packers to win a division at this point. Eleven and five. Thirteen and three. Whoa. I was thinking the same thing. Um but it was actually either thirteen and three, but with the records I'm thinking that that comes down to week seventeen. Yeah. Detroit's and- winning in and I think they beat they purposely play their starters to keep Detroit out of the playoffs. Because the rival in the playoffs is no one you want to see, especially for a third time. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping if it comes down to that, that the Lions remember that fourth quarter with nine minutes to go in Lambeau for first place in the division. I hope they remember and they play. <sighs> they play. Okay, I have events. to jump in about that. Do you realize <laughs> that the math, the math of that, there is like if you guys would have won that game, like we still have like. Your tie, our record's better than yours, and our division <laughs> record is still better than yours. The fact that everybody is listening to the dumbass named Booger McFarland spew that stupidity over the inner, over the air <laughs> consistently over and over again just is just rub. Yeah, I can't Julius. take it anymore. Booger. That Booger game was back. not for the goddamn division, man. It never was. It, like, it's we momentum, bro. It's momentum. Oh, if we would have won that game. No. We no, it, it would have helped. Against Minnesota. It would have helped hey, the Lions. It's all momentum. Y'all, had the, y'all got the greatest quarterback on earth, and they gave y'all two possessions. It's it's all about momentum, bro. One That's was legal, one wasn't. <laughs> y'all, it's, that I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the actual stupidity of the math that everybody seems losing to like want to keep going Lambeau, on. Losing to the Lambo. Oh, well, that's not good, Lions Julius. Could have derailed y'all season. It could have derailed y'all. Y'all wouldn't be seven and one right now. We'd Y'all be six be and two right now. Six and two, and then six and two is about where I had us predicted anyway, because I had us going eleven and five. And you look at the rest of the schedule, like the 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 all I'm the Chiefs game was supposed to be a loss. Is going to be right. a revenge game for Detroit. I'm still picking us to lose just based off them being the Lions. His but tape has broken hard Patricia, for decades. If it comes down to that last game, the, if they need an extra push. Just replay the fourth quarter of that game in Lambeau. 
I, I have a feeling that when I watch every snap of Trey Flowers in week 17, he will never grab the inside collar of David Bakhtiari like this. I can almost <laughs> guarantee it. I bet you and on I my – I bet they you – I almost bet you they – I bet you if he does, they call it. I bet I you if bet he does, they, they call it. I because you know what? We talked about this the other day. Just like David Bakhtiari this year, everybody's decided in the league if they can't beat him, they'll bitch about him so the refs watch him and call ticky-tack shit that they don't call on 90% of the freaking offensive linemen in this sport because they couldn't beat him for years. So now it's David Bakhtiari's grab, grab, grab. He grabs, 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 and they're ticky-tacking <laughs> flags. Well, there's worst ones on the other side. I'm going to tell you right now. David Bakhtiari has went and told these guys, look, if you're going to tell me this, I want these guys to put stick in their hands in my damn neck or on my car. And guess what? So every time he does that, they're going to call it. And you know what? Nobody else has done it before that, and they haven't done it since then. And I bet you week 17, I almost guarantee it, there is none of this shit from Trey Flowers. And if he does, the flag will come out because it's I that's the way it's going to be. I bet I they bet will. They won't. I bet they will. If it does, does the, if that ever happens in week 17 again, does Detroit riot? <laughs> if we lose the game because of it, hell yeah. <laughs> there ain't much of Detroit left anyway, so it won't matter. Ooh. Oh. We'll see. It's a half season um, left. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Jay, I understand it's Detroit, but you live in the woods up in Canada right now. and like, I'm just saying. I don't live in Canada, first of all. Second of it's all, basically... people from Detroit that come up here run away within 90 days because they can't they can't handle this shit because it takes some real people to live up here, man. It takes some and work, it'd be, it'd takes some strength, and takes some way. thick-ass skin to live up here. And these people can't handle that shit. Besides that, they don't know this what the taste of the real water together, tastes though. like. Oh but the, the the water up here is so pure when they drink it, they think it's fucking poison, and they run back down to the contaminated water that they think tastes good. See, now I hope the Packers implode and the division is on the line. There's the real hate. I knew it was in you, Julius. He was playing nice. Though. Hey, hey, he brought it out. He brought it out of me. He brought it out of me. I'm glad he did because I wanted to hear <laughs> that side of Julius. Not everyone oh, gets to hear that. That's beautiful. I need the Packers. I need the Packers to lose the last five out of eight games. Five out of eight. And the division is on the line in week 17, and we extract our our revenge. I need oh. this to happen now. Oh man, Dude, I'm so Julius. glad you're part of this group, Julius. <laughs> <Julius>. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. I lose my mind. I, I love you, buddy, but I think Cinderella's got a uh, better chance of finding her glass shoe than. Uh, You're probably right. But I have okay. To, I, Dave, because, did you get that, to your record? Say so yes. Hold on one second. I want to say something. So it's not, Julius. I've said this a thousand times. JB, I've told Julius a thousand times. It's not the fact that I we're. We are trashing the Lions. It's what we've come to expect from them. Yeah, that's why, because of, that's it, it's point. just it's happened year after Bro, year after trust year. Me, I, under, yeah. I understand better than anybody. <laughs> the Detroit you know, Lions I've lived, fans. Just, I really could care less about all the Detroit live. stuff, but I have literally <laughs> lived up here and listened to the tourists and the locals fight, and these are the arguments you in guys the restaurant. Have tourists up there. They all come up from downstate to spend their money and see the pretty leaves and stuff and the scenery that's here and the trees and the, the birds and the bees. So, yeah, we get lots of tourists Same. up here. I'm his country. No, it's God's country is what they call it up here. Though. Oh, good Lord. It's seriously what they call <laughs> it up here. Julius. I'm I'm he's the only one who can find it. Is, is the UP considered can Canadian territory? Oh, God. It's, it's pretty much Alaska. <laughs> See, and that's what happens when you drink Flint water and graduate from Detroit high schools. You have no oh, geological location wow. at all. You like you guys need an iPhone to tell hey, you how to go six blocks. Lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm from the concrete jungle. I couldn't I couldn't survive long in those woods. You can even ask Stager. I was never good in the field in the army. I was always complaining and bitching. 
no, oh, you you stop it. We're just teasing you. Guy. You stop it. Oh, I came no. from a concrete. I came Please. from a city too. You gotta adapt. You survive and adapt. You do like the Romans do. <laughs> no. 